Good afternoon. My name is Naomi Douglas. I am a junior biology major and a Mark scholar. And with my mentor, Dr. Lavita Rogers, I studied the meta-analysis of gene expression data. What is tuberculosis? Tuberculosis, or TB, is a long disease caused by the mycobacterium tuberculosis, as shown here in the right. It can be prevented and cured. This disease is one of the top 10 causes of death and the leading cause from a single infectious agent. Symptoms may include cough with occasional blood, chest pain, weight loss, and fever. TB bacteria is spread via airflow from person to person. The bacteria is dispersed into the air when the infected person or persons cough, sneeze, or simply speaks. And this is shown in these figures to the right. When a person breathes in TB bacteria, the bacteria can settle in the lungs and can move throughout the blood to other parts of the body, such as the kidney, spine, and brain. According to the World Health Organization, people who are infected with HIV are 19 times more likely to develop active TB because of their weakened immune systems. Alcohol use disorder and tobacco smoking increase the risk of TB disease by a factor of 3.3 and 1.6 respectively. And over 95% of cases and deaths are in developing countries. Let me direct your attention to this figure to the left. One million children fell ill with TB in 2017. And there were 233,000 child TB deaths in 2017 alone. My research question was, how does disease state, age, gender, and ethnicity affect gene expression for tuberculosis infections? To answer my research question, my objectives were to understand how disease state, age, gender, and ethnicity affect gene expression responses to tuberculosis through expression data and to reuse public data to answer new questions. The first method was data curation. I collected data sets on tuberculosis patients focusing on their disease state, age, gender, and ethnicity. Data was organized and integrated using Gene Expression Omnibus, or GEO, which is a public functional genomics data repository that stores array and high throughput data. I originally curated six data sets and 294 samples in total. My second method was data preprocessing. I downloaded raw expression data and preprocessed it by performing background correction, normalization, summarization, and probe annotation. So our next method is data analysis. To identify genetic variation across age, gender, ethnicity, and disease state, I performed a one-way ANOVA. I compared all pairwise interactions between factors such as study, age, sex, disease status, and race. This heat map shows expression of genes across data samples, and I will collect, I will conduct downstream analyses to assess regulation and to see whether genes are up or down regulated according to disease status. So over here on the right is a heat map of the top 10 differentially expressed genes and on the left is its functions. NK3 possesses anticoagulant properties. ABHD10 is a metabolite of the immunosuppressant drug mycophenolate. CLEC4D is involved in antigen uptake at the site of infection, either for clearance of the antigen or for processing and further presentation to T cells. CLP1 and LPCAT3 has catalytic properties for mRNA formation. MAX is a transcription regulator. UNC119 plays a role in trafficking proteins in photoreceptor cells. ANKRD35 functions in RNA regulation. The USB8 functions in gene silencing. And ZNF331 functions in transcriptional regulation. 
So we found 1,790 differentially expressed genes by disease factor. And of those 1,790 genes, two genes, ASO1 and ANGEL2, had disease and age interactions. ASO1 functions in protein binding and ANGEL2 functions in RNA regulation. There were 34 genes that had disease and risk interactions, which is shown in this heat map to the right. And there were, and there were no genes that had disease and sex interactions. Our last method was pathway and gene enrichment analysis, which helps us to find whether the differentially expressed genes were associated with a biological process or molecular function. So this is a table of the enriched gene ontology terms. We have reproduction, metabolic process, cell killing, and immune system process. And to the right is its gene ratios. This is the top reactome pathways by significance. The infectious disease reactome pathway was also enriched and was number 11 on the list out of a possible 90 pathways ordered by statistical significance. Minorities, mainly Blacks, according to data obtained, that have historically experienced greater obstacles to health are specifically affected by TB. Our findings highlighted potential gene targets for TB and genes to further explore how race and age may influence disease outcomes. In the future, we can provide biomarkers or new targets for vaccines or treatment of TB given age, race, or sex of the person once the expression profile is examined. There were some challenges faced, and that was due to the data creation. Data was not reported uniformly, data was missing, some details were unclear, and the sample size. So out of the 133 data sets, I chose five data sets to gain results because most of the data sets lacked information on the age, gender, disease state, or ethnicity of the patient. And there were limitations to using microarray expression data. We only focused on the Illumina microarray platform, and that caused the data samples between the females and the males to be unequal. In the future, we want to find out what genes are up or down regulated. We want to perform another analysis to determine how genes are regulated given the different factors, and we want to curate more data. So I want to take this time to acknowledge the NIH MARC at UVI, a holistic approach, for funding this research. And these are the emails of my mentor, Dr. Levita Rogers, and I. If you have any questions, you can give us an email, and we'll get back to you. Thank you.